everybody welcome to my video today you guys happy monday we are in the full swing of summer here in my house the kids are home and um, esau got called into work and it's just crazy you guys so bear with me this summer as we dive into projects and make it through um, with each other okay so today what I want to share with you guys I'm gonna show you how to make a pinwheel that's what I'm gonna show you here in a minute but and my pinwheel is coming apart right here I need to get some hot glue out and fix a couple of these but what I wanted to show you is some of the decorations that I have done for my class and my catalog launch party so every month I have a local card class if you're local in my area I'm in California and I'm in the area by Sacramento and Elk Grove and Roseville, Placerville. Those are all of my surrounding areas. If you are in those areas and would like to come to my card class, I would love for you to come. It is the third Tuesday of every single month, except in July. It's the second Tuesday of the month. And we make cards and we hang out and we have a great time. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link down to the Facebook group that, well, I'll leave it to my business page and my blog post um, where you can get more information on that. This month, we are doing our catalog launch party. It is a brand new catalog, and we're combining our card class. Um, I do this card class with another demonstrator, Wendy Cranford. And so we're combining our card class with a launch party. And I wanted to show you some of the really pretty decorations I've made. It's Stampin' Up's 30 year anniversary. And so that's really exciting. And so these are a couple of the things that I have made. Um, for this butterfly right here, I've used these are the springtime dies. They are in a bundle with the abstract expressions I believe is the name of the stamp set but I've just used that butterfly right there later this week I'm going to use this piece because I had an idea for a card so I've used the butterfly and we've cut out um, a ton of these my daughter helped make all of this stuff I'm going to stick a picture in here right here where you can see her she was it was so fun she came in my office and wanted to help and so I had her putting together treat bags and cutting out um, popping out butterflies and using my Cricut to, to do some things and it was a lot of fun this right so there's here, this right um that I did and I did two of these so I did this one and then I did this one the butterflies on the bottom here and then these hearts are the stitched hearts from the stitched um I'll put the name of the stamp set and die set that I used but these hearts are so cute I love them so I did two of those we have some treat bags that I did these treat bags right here are bags that I got on clearance a long time ago whenever Stampin' Up puts pretty packaging stuff on the clearance rack. I buy a ton of it because I use it so much. So these are just little craft bags that we had at one time that I purchased a bunch of. And then these are the glimmer enamel dots from last year. Now these have been updated for this catalog and they look like this this year and when you spend a hundred dollars with me you get one of these for free along with all of the other things that i'm offering this month so you'll want to make sure to get some of these for free and try them out they're glimmery and they're really pretty so i used up all my old ones um and they worked out great the colors of them and then i did this right here that says do something creative every day so i'll put some candy in these bags and these will be the treat bags that everybody gets at the class and then I did two of these and you can see that they are, hopefully you can see they are splattered with glitter and these are smaller and they are on this really pretty polka dot ribbon. So we'll hang those up. And then the next thing that I did was a banner. And this banner is gonna say, live it, love it, share it. And it will hang up. I'll probably use some Baker's twine to hang this up. And in between each letter, is this so it's the 30 year anniversary logo and then this really fun banner and so that will hang up and then every other letter has a butterfly on it with some rhinestones and then they're all splattered in glitter because glitter makes everything better right so that will hang up and I thought it was so fun so let me show you how to make a pinwheel because I did not know um, and I thought it would be fun. So my um, hope is that I will have enough pinwheels that everybody will go home with a pinwheel. 
This is our designer paper. This is in our end color, so it's blueberry bushel. And so what I do is I kind of cheat at this. I make it easy for myself. The first thing I do is I just pinch it in half. I'm not folding it. I'm not creasing it. I'm just pinching it. And then I pinch a little bit in the middle. So I pinch a little piece. And then I open that up and then I do the same thing. So I just kind of pinch it closed and then right where that other pinch is already, I pinch again and that's gonna give me a center point. So then what I'll do is I'll just take a ruler and from corner to corner, and I don't even draw a line. What I do is I just take an X-Acto knife and I just lightly make a line. I don't press hard. I'm just making an indentation. Instead of writing with pencil where I have to erase something, I'm just giving myself a little bit of a guide. So now you can barely, barely see that nice indentation. I didn't cut through the paper. So then what I'll do is I grab my paper scissors and I just use that guide to snip almost all the way to the middle. And I do that on each corner. It's hard to see on camera, but I'm just following that little line that I did. It just works as somewhat of a guide so it doesn't get all wonky. I'm going a little bit into the middle. So then you have something that looks like this. And then what you do is you just, um, for the sake of just doing this on camera right now, you will need to use hot glue. That's what I'm finding out, is that you definitely need hot glue. And then these just get folded in. You just do every other one and you fold it in. Again, we're gonna have to do some hot glue, but just to give you an idea. And then you put a brad right through the middle there. And I'm using our brand new brads to do this. So you have a pinwheel. So these brand new brads are really beautiful. And they also come in metallic, which I didn't realize. See, this one needs some hot glue. And then I just hot glue it to the back with, I use these straws. You can get these straws anywhere. Oftentimes I'll get them at the Target in the dollar section. I have a whole bunch of just ones that are really fun. These would be great for 4th of July. And so I just hot glue it. And then what I do is I just put a piece of packing tape kind of over it after I've hot glued it just to secure it. So there are my pinwheels. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to make those pinwheels and I hope you're excited about the 30 year anniversary and the launch of our new catalog. If you guys have any questions, let me know and make sure you visit my blog post um, to see photos of these items or at the very end of this video, you'll see photos. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you guys later. much for hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.